hi guys welcome you again to another news a good news for the apc as the apc presidential candidate jinobu has now finally returns back to nigeria after our 12-day medical trip it is said that the ailing apc presidential candidate jinobu returns to nigeria after 12-day medical trip according to the full gist of the news the presidential candidate of the All Progressive Congress, ABC, Palatinobu, has returned to Nigeria after 12 days' trip to United Kingdom. Tinobu returned on Thursday evening. Sahara reporters had reported that the former Lagos State Governor left the country on September 24th to UK for medical trip. The last time he was seen attending a public event physically was on September 22nd when he met with members of the Pentecostal Bishops Forum in Abuja. During his time away, there had been concerns over his whereabouts, especially after he missed the signing of the peace accord for the 2023 elections. The African Action Congress presidential candidate, Amoyeli Shoare, had earlier on Thursday tackled the APC flag bearer over his absence from the public scene since the official kick-off of electioneering for the 2023 elections. Shoare had said Nigerians would not be swayed by photo propaganda anymore and that Nigerians now know better after the President Mohamed Buhari allegedly used the same method. The AAC presidential candidate was reacting to a picture of Tinubu shared on his Twitter page on Thursday. Tinubu had explained that he was strong and healthy while showing off in a spine bike. He had also dismissed the rumor that he was dead and had, re you know, had withdrawn from the presidential race. In a tweet accompanied by a video showing him walking out on a fitness bike, he wrote, Many have said, I have died. Others claim I have withdrawn from the presidential campaign. Well, nope. This is the reality. I am strong. I am healthy. And I am ready to serve Nigerians from day one. What is your take to this? What is your own reaction to this brand development? We've just had the full gist. Do you think this man, that is Bola Metunubu, can actually... By Lord's Day affair of Nigeria, don't forget that with his ailing in the situation, this man has an health issue he's battling with and he is tired. He is tired, he is old, and his age will not permit him to do what he would like to do again. Just like when he was the governor of Lagos State, he was still very young, you know, he was healing hearty, he can run around. He was not traveling on health ground the way he is now. But everyone knows that old age comes with different you know, ailments. And now, instead of him staying calm and doing everything on a low key, he aspiring, he is still aspiring to become the next president of Nigeria, saying that he's strong, he's healthy. That is why sometimes I do like Shore statements saying that Nigerians will not be swayed by photos propaganda anymore and that's nigerians now they know better after the president Mohamed buhari you know allegedly used the same method because this is the way buhari you know buy you know he bought nigeria's brain and we all fell for it but now nigerians have woken up and they know is that right thing to do well we would like you to let us know your own take on this brand development you as a citizen of Nigeria would use to support President, you know, 
the presidential candidate of the APC, Bola Tinobu, to become the next president of Nigeria, considering this present situation. Just like what Kinsley have said, said Tinobu is seriously unhealthy. Tinobu, on a more serious loan, is unhealthy to rule this country. His supporters will push him to coma if he is not careful. Good health is wealth. I advise APC to start shuffling for a better candidate. No matter what, obedience Yusuf is. No matter what, pardon, obedience is our next president come 2023. That is what Kinsley or G have said. That no matter what, no matter the outcome, you know, Peter will be, will be the next president of Nigeria because it is obvious to everyone that Tinobu is seriously unhealthy to rule this country. He has not even, you know, assumed the office of the president and he is junketing up and down. He's traveling from one country to another, all in the name of, you know, medical attention. And you still believe you can be the next president of Nigeria and still perform better despite the current situation of things, the economic crisis, the insecurity problems, unemployment, and every other things. Obot also said, Is it a good to Nigeria that he should be electing unfit and unhealthy president this time around? Always forgetting the spillover effects in their day to day's endeavor. What is your take to this? What is your own reaction to this present development? We've just had what Obots have said. That is it that Nigerians are not thinking of electing unfit and unhealthy president because times without number, Nigerians have been voting for unfit and unhealthy president. And this thing is always common. We have presidential candidates, you know, enough. We have enough of them. And it is the unhealthy one among all the presidential candidates we have. It is the unhealthy one that we will vote for, of which is not supposed to be. What is your take to this? Sinobu is unhealthy. He is unfit to become the next president of Nigeria. And these people... They are so, you know, callous that after four years, they will still want to run for another four years. So when you are voting in someone now, just believe this person is running for another eight years because they will always maneuver their ways to have another four years. Who would like you to let us know your own thought to this? It lies in your hands. It lies in my hands. If we don't want Buhari's kind of tenure, to happen again in Nigeria. Don't forget that the alien APC presidential candidate Tinobu has returned to Nigeria after 12 days medical trip. Thank you guys for listening. Subscribe to this channel if you have not. And I will see you on other news. Bye for now.